There, we better get that music on. Let's redo that then. Shh, guys, but shh. It's coming back. Any moment now. Commentary time. Um, I think the last one I did with this one I taught was day two, summer, summer. I'm on, I'm on like day two, five, four, so it's gonna be like 28 days ago in game. Last month. This might be a bit too loud actually. Turn it back up afterwards. Uh, so there, there. It's not like half volume now. I'll try and be a bit louder, but yeah. In, I don't play with the intro music on because sometimes I'm I'm in and out of it multiple times. Hey guys, check this out. What I found. This guy, remember this little face, dude? I don't know when they added this. You can stick him on there. Whoa. Yeah. Obviously, you got all the other stuff. A little alien in there. Got the Junimos. You can get a little Junimo plush here. Well, actually, a big Junimo plush here. If you go to. Is there anything else, actually? Uh, if you go to the um, playground on the 28th day at 12 pm and click it, you get a plush here, and I've never got it. Uh, I've got it on other sales, but I haven't got it on this one because I'm always too busy. I need to remember to get one of those just to finish out my collection of stuff. Because obviously you can only get one. Actually, did I get one? There might be one sitting around in the house somewhere. It's, a big, it's always a big green one. You don't get different coloured ones. Or maybe they've changed that. Maybe now you get a different colour one depending on the season. But yeah, I thought I'd do a little commentary for day one of um, summer year three. Uh, I'm going for a perfection now. It seems. I think. I think when I hit perfection, you get the little golden chicken egg. Um, that's it for me. That's it for me. Um, I'll consider that save complete. Um, and then I'll tr probably try and do it again, except I'll try and hit completion in two years. That sounds difficult. <laughs> but. Uh, Definitely, when I was playing it, I started to tail off, but I was tailing off year one, nice, reasonable progress. Year two, tailing off. Uh, year three, hit a wall, it seems. <laughs> Still trying to make progress though, but they've done loads of stuff that should make getting progress easier, so you can get house upgrades and stuff, so you don't need to fight around with sheds. Um, that might make things easier, you know, if you can get cheap extra space relative to, to size. And uh, it saves you time going out to your sheds and stuff. That might be a good addition. But of course you need to be able to get your money. Really, I should have switched out to having ancient fruit. That's my main problem is that I didn't sell all my stuff. So obviously you all, I've had people make comments about my giant troves of coffee beans and stuff that I never sold. Um, which I still have sitting around. It's kind of useful for for me now because I'm going into a new run. Um, trying to get all the new update stuff. I've got them to pull from. So say, um, what is it? Like fire quartz. You need those to make dehydrators. And I had a look and I think dehydrators are the best way to sell mushrooms. Because you can't put mushrooms in a preserves jar. But you can put all the other stuff in the preserves chair and you get more money from it. It's just it takes longer. Also, you get raisins from the dehydrators and they make your junimos give double harvests or something. So we're going to want to make a bunch of those. Actually, yeah, we need to make a bunch of those before thingy, don't we? Yeah. And it also gives you a reason to grow grapes because then you can make raisins. Of course, you can find grapes from forage as well. Anyway... I'm not going to probably use this day, I just thought I'll do a day, because every season 
everything like you have to replant all your crops and stuff I'll just do a day like usually what I do is uh, after I've not played for a while or I'm doing a new month is I do a day that I don't record sometimes I end up redoing a day like so many times do it like six times sometimes like that one trying to get um, trying to get to floor 100 I didn't want to have to use all that stone because uh, you get told off for it, but <laughs> after the eighth time or something, I just I just couldn't. I got a purple slime egg though. That's one of the things. In one of them, I got a rabbit's foot. I didn't get any prismic shards though. If I got a prismic shard, I probably would have just kept it, even though I haven't been using them. Oh, they're still going, huh? All right. Well, let's do a coffee then. So I, I moved all the coffee around because I thought it would be... Coffee only takes like a couple hours to finish. So if you have all your kegs in your house, it might make it easier because you can put all your hops in there. Um, all your wheat to make beer and they don't take as long as the other ones. So having it in a, an area that's more immediate is probably a better, better decision. I like growing hops because then you get this like you gotta make loads of pale ale. But I don't actually know if they're better than the blueberries. They probably are. But they won't be better than ancient fruit. I don't think. Just because the main benefit of ancient fruit oops, I need to put all these decorations away, they're really annoying. The main benefit of ancient fruit is that you don't really have to do a lot of work on it, it's just ready. Obviously we've got all of them stuff there. Ah. And we didn't replace out those crops. So you lose the fertilizer. I guess what we'll do is we'll go and get some replacements. Oh, that's not good. I like how you can hop now. When you like got your um, equipment ready. I like that. I don't know how useful it is. It might be like uh, not very useful. It might be more harmful than it is good, but to me, it just gives you a bit more control over the whole thing. You can do stuff like that, which is, you know, you can get quite boring watering your stuff. But now you can, I don't know, do a little bounce. Anyway, that's all ready to go. I guess we'll do all the basic chores first. Oh yes, yeah, so someone else that I found out, like the little raccoon dude, which we still haven't interacted with, you can trade junk with them for stuff. So like broken glasses and stuff, they like them. Oh, we kind of want to keep them. So really like um wanna be hoarding stuff. Do I not have any wood anywhere? Do I have to go buy a bunch of wood? No, it's all in here. But yeah, so so I reckon like I'm on day two summer, two ninety. Which means I've been I must have been playing this for over a year, this this save. Um, I probably will end up playing another one afterwards because I don't know. I've never actually fully. I've not. I've not completed the game at the speed that I would be happy, uh, satisfied with.
We don't really need iridium bars really like anymore at all, do we? Anyway, yeah, you can trade like broken glasses for like aquariums or something, so hoarding junk might be useful after all. I know um some who's a Lei Lee, I don't know how you pronounce the name. I've been told off because I pronounce I pronounce it Leia. Like Princess Leia. <laughs> But, you know, that's not... It's, I, think it's, I think it's pronounced Lee. Lee likes driftwood. But, like, why would you give him driftwood when you could just give him, like, uh, a diamond or a rabbit's foot that's iridium quality or something? That's something that's a bit lame. I don't like the universal light. I know why they're there, but, like, when you get to a certain level, there's, like, there's no point in dealing with it. But the main reason, right, is that driftwood doesn't have a quality on it. So, like, when you gift someone a, something like a carrot the quality of the thing you gift them is impacts the friendship, right? But you'll never get iridium quality driftwood. So you'll never like explore that level, but it's like part of their personality or something. I think that, I mean, I, it don't really matter to me, to be honest, because it's, I guess we'll do gold then. I don't know why I need gold though either. It's like, Anyway, it's like exploring parts of their personality. Alright, what we got here? Okay, a bomb. Thanks, thanks, Kent. Okay, a gem. Cheers. Take this off. I look stupid with it on. So I didn't always used to do that. That bit's a bit annoying, but it's, it's more quality of life thing, really. Yeah, so we're going to get it all ready. I really should have made more charcoal kilns earlier in the game. It's a bit late now to worry about it, though. Yeah, like, look here, look at all these coffee beans. It's never sold. I could have used that to buy tons of wood and maybe coal and stuff and just made preserve jars. But it's not biggie. That's something we do need to make today, though. A bunch of dehydrators. Because I've got, like... How many have I got? I've got, like, one, two, three, four, five, five. I'm going to need to get another one. Like, here. Got a super crop here, I, need, I just need a giant pumpkin now, and I've got everything. I don't know why you would need one of those like little mushroom logs though, like we're playing Don't Starve or something. But, um... Yeah, you can get like a tool in Don't Starve that lets you grow your own mushrooms. I don't really know why you would need that though. So we've got one, two, three... There's a four, five, six. We'll go for a, uh, we'll go for a solid seven though. And then clay. We need fourteen. There we go. That's seven. And then let's get some grapes. We'll leave it at that. Six, seven. And then we've got an eight, haven't we? I like to have varied collections in there, so I've got one of each type. Even though that's completely meaningless and doesn't have any benefit to me whatsoever. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, that's in this fish. Yeah, you can upgrade your chest now as well. Um, but I haven't done that yet. I don't know if I really want to, because playing around with the chest is fun to me. I enjoy it. Oh no. Oh wait, no, we've got them on, we've got them on us. Yeah, these haven't been processed for a long time, we have to swap it all over. The main limitations with having this in your game is like it takes away a lot of time. But if you've got ancient fruit, you only really need to do it to keep up with ancient fruit, so... But 
I like having varied crops. Just because I don't feel like I'm running a proper farm wise. Like, I don't want to run like a plantation house. But I feel like I'm going to have to though. Because otherwise I'm be, I'll be spending so much of my in-game life just tending to stuff. I think that's that, that, that it's quite telling that a lot of the new farm types that come out has less farming space. So it's kind of like you're forced to focus on higher quality crops rather than just having lots of them. That's quite telling. If you like wanting to have loads of crops and be like a, an actual farmer, full fledged farming operations, you're kind of stuck using the, the first farm in the game. You can use the other ones though, it's just they all have less space if I recall. So you go, that's like an hour and a half. Ah. Oh, it is a bit janky. We'll have to go down to Pierre's to get those seeds in a moment. I'm not sure if I'll have any in my stock. Let's get these working first. Let's grab that one there. Bring it over. Drinking these speed boot things though. I think it's just a min-max thing that you want to do. Requires five pieces. Oh no. It does, doesn't it? I'm daft. Let's run back and get it. Do I even have enough then? One, two, three, four, five. I'm not worried about the iridium ones because I'm, I get loads of iridium ones. I get loads of iridium ones because when I go foraging, I get guaranteed a iridium one every time. But yeah, I think you can use those for mushrooms. They yeah, make the mushrooms better. I'm going to wait to harvest the ancient fruit in the greenhouse for when the ancient fruit is ready everywhere else. But the, uh, the fruit does need changing over, doesn't it? I try to like get all the different workstations, expanding them everywhere. Cause I I, do, I know a lot of people have loads of guys online about where you can keep these outside the farm. But I don't really want to go down that route. That sounds like terrifying to me. That level of, you know, installations everywhere for plumbing kegs and... Oof. I'd rather just keep everything on my farm that I need to work on. So we better run down to the general store now. Um, wonder if there'll even be time to get all my jobs done today. Does anyone have any jobs for me to do? Yeah, some I've noticed, guys, and I might be the, like the <laughs> I would be the first person to have noticed it, but I haven't seen anyone comment on it. The bulletin board missions 
if you've got it already active, even though it's done, you can't get it again. That doesn't seem right. And I know that like you're not meant to play it like this, where you just have all your bundles and your... That's it. Yeah, 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 we'll do that for a ticket. I know you're not supposed to have this thing where you have like all your journal entries. Oh, there is someone that has something to do. Oh, no, that's the bounty. Like this. But I just... I just like it. I just like having like the log and being able to go and collect it. So I've got 500 gold that I could get whenever I need it. Um, we still haven't given him his lucky shorts. I don't know if we ever will. Um, I feel a bit bad though because it's like they, they meant a lot to him. Yeah, it's me. When can you grow grapes? You grow them in fall, yeah. We'll have loads of grapes at the... Where is it? I'm thinking of. We'll have loads of grapes over on the Ginger Island farm, which we might be able to dip into, but we might need to expand the grape growing operation there temporarily just so we can get the raisins. Uh, what have you got here then? So, I have like my little side plot, which I use just to like give me that illusion that I have like loads of varied farm space, even though it's, it's not. And then I have my main area, which is like maybe a third of the farm where I grow coffee and other stuff. A little side plot above it where I can grow other things. Um, and then obviously now I have a ton of ancient fruit everywhere now, I know when I did it in year 2 I grew like I mean, trellises everywhere and it was awesome it looked really nice until it rained and then I had to pick a wall and then it was terrible but we review the wiki here real quick alright tree stages go up here we don't want that we want um um we don't want that either, we need summer. We need the summer the season exploration. Explanation. Alright, summer. Melons, poppies, radishes, red cabbages, star fruits, summer spangles, sunflowers and wheat with the multi-harvest crops of blueberry, coffee beans, corn, hop, hot hot peppers, tomatoes, and summer squash. Okay, well you summer squash is the new one and you can only get it from was it like mob loot or something? No, seriously, where'd you get it then? You get them from summer squash seeds? Yeah, I know I get them from there, but where do I get these? Digging up seed spots. Trading at the raccoon's wife. Catching golden treasure chests. Using the seed maker. Prize machine. Opening mystery boxes. Breaking open crates. And slaying iridium golems. <laughs> okay. We'll need to get some of those then, just to complete our collection. But uh, what is the profit like on these things? Well, summer squash is a profit per day of 18 gold. That's high. Hops, 13.2. Tomatoes, hot peppers, they don't provide that. They're just for you, they're for cooking. Radishes, they don't. Poppies, they don't. They're for gifting. Star fruit. Damn, yeah, we need star fruit. Staff fruit is the actual one, isn't it? So, staff fruit pretty much needs to. You can't buy them here either. You have to buy them at the desert. Okay. You get two harvests out of them. You have to plant it by Tuesday if that's what you're gonna do. Staff fruit has the highest value though. Um, at. 26.92 and they're really good in the preserves yeah 
blueberries. They can piss off. We don't want no blueberries. Um, we'll plant like a little small little couple of blueberry bushes in a little private area. Hops though. Hops make pale ale and pale ale's good. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do, let me get my farming guide. My farm planner. Oh man, it's all bogged up now. I don't want version 3, I want version 2 again. It's all messed up. Alright, well, we can count it from here. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35, I think. So that's one set of 35. So that'd be 70. That'd be 140. Um, another set. Hang on. 200. 300, right? Let's just say I need 300 of those. All of these are star fruits, though. I mean, all of these are ancient fruits, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, up here, though. How many trellises? Because I guess I'll make I'll make these all hops. I make them all hops. <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19. It's really hard to tell actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Okay, so I can get, so those are for my trellises. So in the, in the uh, earlier, last, Last time I played it in year two, I had trellises down in the south, you know, in that southern bit under the pond, and then I had trellises up by the sheds. I'm only going to have them by the sheds this time. So it looks like I need what? What was it like? 300 star fruit, 100 hops, and then whatever the hell else I want. And then obviously I need the flowers for the bees, um, and then whatever I want down on the sides. So yeah. Yeah, so I think I know what I need then. So, well, we might be going to the desert now, so let's just sell these. Yeah, you can have this as well. Yeah. Free up some space down here so I can visualize all the crops I'm buying. Awesome. Oh, damn, yeah, we need those melons as well. Just trying to. Oh, no, wait, we've already got a big melon. Yeah, we've already got a big melon. We don't need any more. But I'll still grow it. Um, where is my big melon? i got like a big melon and a big cauliflower now. Which is awesome. I have two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It goes all the way down to there. I don't look right. Oh yeah, it's because it's all bogged. We'll just get a bunch of melon seeds. We'll see how many we need. Let's just get a 70. Um, we need like, what, six of those? We need like, six of these. I don't know, let's get six. I mean, if we buy more, they just go in our chest. I don't really care anymore. Um, up there though is different. Let's just get 20 of those. Let's get 20 of those. Ah, ah, this is the ones we need. We need 100 of these. Um, let's get 20 of those. And, um, I don't know, we get 20 of that. Why don't we just like get like 26 of everything that's minimal and then they can go in our emergency trove of seeds, can't they? 
make make Pierre very happy. He'll be like, yeah, I get loads of money. Um, extra extra money for you, Pierre. Oh, we ain't got no wheat. We only need to get some wheat. So look how much cash we got. We don't really need to worry about it. There. We'll do that. Like this. Spin that. And then we'll get like, I don't know, like tons of wheat. In fact, we might as well get like 999 wheat. It's so cheap, right? might have a stack of wheat already so we do it like that there you go Pierre thanks yeah yeah thanks for stopping us up let's see if we can get down to the desert bus in time yeah we did I like to take a flower to Sandy um, Every time I go, I see her. But, um, we don't have it right now. But this isn't the actual day, so we don't matter. No. I am actually, yeah, I am actually here to buy some seeds from you. And I said 300, right? Good thing we sold those things up here. There we go, that's like everything, right? Haha! -ha. Thank you! Now, I haven't actually visited the animals or the fish, but we don't need to. We can just be mean to them. Oh, yeah, and we're trying to level up on mastery levels. We've already got one. But we can go back for that later. Alright, so how am I doing this then? Um, I've got these sets of four. Two sets of four, maybe. Well, which of these takes longer? You get more peppers than you get tomatoes. So we probably want eight tomatoes instead. But maybe... Yeah, eight tomatoes instead. Um, so we'll do it like that, and then we'll do, um, do that, so that's them two out of the way. We won't grow melons up here, I don't think, because we can grow those elsewhere. We'll put the corn here, it's like big and powerful. Um, so that's the corn done. We're not going to grow any hops here. The flowers are for over there. So we kind of go do that. Alright, sweet. Actually, we might get some hops over here as well, just because it completes our vision. The vision that we want here. The only problem here is that um, any hops would be difficult to harvest. Um, there you 
Yeah, that's that one done. There's the blue riz done. Sunflowers though. There, there's some raw sunflowers. Um, don't need a lot of sunflowers though, do we? Um, a few melons maybe? Yeah, like that. Oh damn, yeah, and then we need this. Yeah, so it probably end up being something like that. Except we might do six, six. Those can be sunflowers. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll put like a cheeky hop there. Alright, so that's all that done. We're not growing any wheat. Maybe that's what we do. We have like six and six, and then they're all, they're all wheat, and we do sunflowers over by the bees instead, because they're flowers, aren't they? So maybe that's what we do. Um, main business, though, we need the, need the star fruits to be all planted up. This is like good for a like, trial run, so I know that it's all possible to do on the actual day, which is what I was alluding to at the start of the recording. So, when you start a season, you've probably got like the most work you need to do. So I usually play that day out at least at least twice. And one of these days, I need to take all these like treasure trolls and geos and stuff I've been collecting to the museum, because you need that for a hundred percent completion, I think. You need to have the museum complete. Also, I've never completed it before. So that'd be fun. I need to remember you can feed carrots to your horse so that they run faster. That would have been useful today because we had to use our horse. Alright, there you go, there's all the star fruit. So the star fruit's done, knocked off. Alright. And then we need the hops to be planted. So we do a set there. And then that's like a walkway. And then we do a set here. Like that. And we leave it too too wide so we can get the horse through. Except we don't actually need to do that now because we can use our flute. We go do 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 do. So maybe I won't do that. But we did do it like that, so. Do this and then I, I, I will do that thing then where I'll do like that then I can still get to all of it and I'll do like that and I can still get to that one there so we'll do that a complete one set okay and then um, part of a set like this so I'm like referring to my schematic here Because you can't walk through trellises. The little junimos can. Go get me some of those little money things. Is that like a complete one? Yeah, it is. Okay. And then we'll have to water it. 
it's imperative you water the hops because they, they produce every day once they've grown. Alright, so that's all good. What do we put in the bits in between it though? More staff root? Probably is worth putting it in as more staff root to be honest. Let me get rid of that. I need to be able to walk through. Yeah, just a bit more staff root there. Sweet. And now we can come over here and do this here. And I'm reckoning what I'll do here is um Whoa, what's that bit of detritus? Uh, get, get out of here. Looks like we've got just enough time to get everything done. So we haven't been with the animals. We'll be able to go do that probably in time. I reckon this is where we put the sunflowers. We put the sunflowers here. Like that, we do a row of sunflowers. Summer spangles are worth more, I believe. I'll double check on the wiki before I do the actual thing. There, and we do poppies. And you know what? This is a recording of my commentary, and it's important that I get that right. Um, so if you, if you go to the wiki, different flowers produce different valued honey if they if the flowers are grown close to the bee box. Um, summer spangle is actually worth less. All right. So what we'll do is we'll um. I'm not using this day, guys, remember, but just to cement it in memory, this is what you would have had to have done. And I just did it again. Whatever. Um, harvesting all this stuff. Do, 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 do. Not actually going to harvest it, of course, because I'm just seeing if I would have time. Yeah, we actually have time to get like everything done. That's ace. Oh, except for the melons. So we're running just a bit tight on time. What we'll do is we'll do this here. and uh, We'll just start growing some extra melons as well, man. Just because, you know, you can, like, process it and stuff. Can't get giant red cabbage. When we grow a pumpkin, we want the pumpkin to be here. We actually could have done with a cauliflower being, like, just a bit to the right. But it's just how it is, isn't it? But, you know, I'm, these are my prized giant crops. So, yeah. Oh. And then at the end of the day, you have to go home to sleep. And that's what we then end up doing, so. And there we go. So... Yeah, I'm probably going to do this for real now, guys. Um, you go in, you get into bed there like this. And you click, yeah, but we'll call it there. Um, how many kegs have I got up here? Right, I just counted up in that room there. I counted 42. And how many hops did I use? I used like 71, so that's 42 there. Sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one. We could do with getting another two. Another two hops placed down. Sorry about that noise, guys. I've got like some weird rhino, rhino virus or something right now. That's like a nasal infection, right? Whatever. Um... So yeah, getting a few extra hops down might be good just because it, it would like satisfy my mind if I was like 
placating those kegs like that. But that's just something I can go to my schematic and trial run up and see if there's any extras I can be putting down anywhere. I mean, if we put in some star fruit in between those hops, it might not be too e extreme if I went on my schematic and just went, yo. If if the hops are having some star fruits growing in between them, maybe the star fruit field can uh, take a few hops out, if you know what I mean. So uh, we might do that. And how many how many star fruits are we, are we growing up there? I think it was um one two three four five six seven eight nine. Um. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 or something. So we could get an extra 20 hops down over in the area where we're growing star fruit. And then the Junimos will pick them and it'll be it'll be great. Um Yeah. And then when fall comes, we're going to need to grow those grapes. So probably the day after, we're going to need to go to Ginger Island. Plant a bunch of grape trellises. Because we're going to want raisins, so we get like double harvest on uh, ancient fruit. But, I want to harvest the ancient fruit first to get the experience. So maybe we don't actually need to rush for the Junimos to be doing that because... Harvesting ancient fruits probably going to give me loads of experience, and I'd rather do that. Um, yeah. All right, guys. There's a commentary version for you all, because I did that poll on the channel. I said, "Do you want to hear my voice?" And some people said, "Yeah." Well, I think the compromise is every now and again I do a little commentary version. Um, I reckon I'll do another commentary version after maybe the first week of summer. Or maybe maybe towards the end of summer. To just say how I think this expansion is going. Because it's been like a month so far since it came out. And uh, yeah, I'm alright with it. I think it's added some stuff that breathed a bit of life into it. Um, but I don't think it added the most from like a game cycle you know game replaying cycle i added a few extra crops but like they're just like gimmicky crops you can have uh they added the mastery levels that's good that that that, that was good from that because now it feels like you uh reach max level but your experience still matters because you can get a little xp cycle um but i don't know how long that lasts for like maybe it needs to be something where you are constantly needing to do it to like grind up your stats or something i don't know um what else have they added? Obviously the whole book thing is interesting. Improvements to the farmhouse. You can get extra expansion. So if you're like one of those people that likes building a fanky, uh, fancy swanky house. You can do stuff like that. You've got more places to play around with. A um, couple extra holidays. But I don't feel like they've um, hit the gameplay cycle element of it. So... That's like stuff where, um, like the raisins did, because now you have a reason to grow grapes, like all the time. Whereas before it was just like you hit a critical point, on summer you want to grow star fruit, on every other season you want to grow ancient fruit, in fall you want to grow sweet berries, you know, like you pick like those three super crops and you just grow the super crops, you know, maybe you grow some strawberries, maybe you grow some blueberries, maybe you grow some cranberries. And everything else is just kind of like, yeah, I guess I'll have a few corn so I can make some tortillas. But now you've got like grapes to add to the mix. It's similar to like Ginger Island. They added Ginger Island to the game. You had this area to like play around with. But once you've done all the playing around in it, it's just a, it's just a location, isn't it? It's just a place you go to to grow your infinite, your mega larger greenhouse. So yeah. But, I mean, it is a life sim, so there's only so far you can take it, you know? Anyway. Ah, we'll call it there, guys, yeah? 
Uh, I think so. I think that's that. Alright. Bye, everyone. It's a pleasure. And I hope you guys get some value out of this. See y'all.